where you get like 50 seconds of cues for a push up, right? So it's uh, fairly aggressive cueing wise, but it works out well. Once we start, we're doing a 50 50 50 today. On the board, we have different series of four exercises. So we thought about it, you don't have to skip as far as A, B, C, D. We'll do exercise A for 50 seconds, immediately B for 50 seconds, then C for 50 seconds, D for 50, back to A, back to B, back to C, back to D. It's like six minutes of work and then 50 seconds on. I've been somewhat kind of that there are not a lot of things that are kind of similar. Not a lot, there may be some, but it's not horrible. Yeah. Uh, correct, yes, yes. There might be like a hamstring to hamstring to hamstring, maybe. Uh, we'll time will First thing, guys, once we're warmed up and ready, don't have to start yet, we're going to hand walk out. Once we get into that push up position, one to five push ups, we'll drive the hips up, take the hamstring stretch. Think about this exercise being more of a hamstring stretch and kind of shoulder warm ups than anything else. Number two, reverse lunge with a pulse. Stand tall, knee tuck. Reverse lunge with a pulse. Stand tall, knee tuck. Stay in one leg. Number three, suitcase crunch. So from my backside here, heavy, heavy crunch. And right to left, to right to left. If it gets kind of fatiguing in the neck, we can support the head. Last thing, fourth thing, mini skaters. Left hand to right foot. And an RDL base as I land. Sweep that leg up. That's it. I'm going to go press play. Number one, hand walk plus push up. And push up, cap is five. So, got the effort of the push up, four so warm up the body. Take the hamstring stretch, five seconds up. And grab the slot to our right and overhead with PC. I'll leave you here. And walk out, guys, right into the push up position. Focus on a good push up. It's limited at five. As we walk the hands back in, drive those hips high. Big upon, get a hamstring stretch. If you want to, you can stand tall between reps and try and get some air. Otherwise, stay down, go from the hamstring stretch back out into the push up. 20 seconds to go. No rush here. After hand walk push ups, we'll go immediately into that reverse lunge with a pulse. 10 seconds out. Then watch your surroundings. When we go reverse lunge pulse, five. Good, so I'm going to take my left leg back, I'll do one pulse, stand tall, deep tuck right into it, a little bit of tempo, and then focus on the depth of the range of motion. If you guys wanted to get crazy, which I don't think anybody does yet, you can always throw a little bit of a hop to that front leg, so one pulse, one hop, not going to have any takers. Oh, I didn't expect it, it's okay, it's early, I, I wouldn't do it yet either. 25 seconds up after a reverse lunge with a full suitcase crunch. So we're on our backs, heavy crunch, little body swivel side to side. Again, focus on the depth of the pulse and the range of motion there within. Probably like four to six inches in that pulse, nice big pulse. In five seconds on our backs, should be a heavy crunch position like a dead bug. Front here, left hand, right hand. We'll usually get into kind of a comfortable movement pattern, right? Think about kind of extending a little further. So really engage the oblique. Get a nice crunch from side to side. Twenty-five seconds up after two days crunch. Last thing of the series, mini skater, left hand, right foot. My goal is to open the chest up somewhat tall, switch sides, land in a single leg RDL. So I'm not worried on the lateral distance of the exercise, more so being stable, landing in a single leg RDL. Five seconds to go. Yeah. Two. <laughs> Good on our feet, check your surroundings, left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot. Nice little bop, pull the torso upright on the transition. And then if possible, that leg sweep up behind us. So nice long lever, heel to toe when we catch that foot. After our mini skaters, we go back to hand walk with a push up. 25 seconds out. If you're looking for a little more intensity here, you don't necessarily have to jump more lateral. Think about a little more air time. Toss that knee up, stun with the uppercut, go up. 10 seconds. 
Can walk plus push up next. Five. Good, right into the hand walk, nice long legs, take the hamstring stretch. Remember the push up is not kind of the, uh, the focus here. More so warm the body. Spend some time in that hamstring stretch position. Uh, standing up tall, be clean reps if we want to, otherwise down and hamstring, think like a three to five second pause. Focus on your core as we walk back out. We have six different series of four exercises today, so we're in our first series of four. Ten seconds. Five. Exercise number two, reverse lunge with the pulse, make sure we switch leg. Four to six inches at the bottom, nice tall posture top. As it comes out, knee tuck, load the core a little bit, right? It's a nice and tight core. As that knee comes up, drop back in. One pulse, stand tall, knee tuck to the top. Sorry. Calm down. No hands. <laughs> 25 seconds out. You're going to be amazing to your kids, don't you? Probably. 15 seconds out. You should see my dance move book. Can't move before kids. They're horrible. <laughs> yeah. I got down my rhythm, like standing in line holding kids, right? Like trying to like make them fall in line. Five. After this, suitcase crunch. Heavy crunch, little body roll side to side. Again, maybe like one extra inch of kind of lateral reach, right? So really make sure the oblique is active when we get there. Rib cage tucked down. Maybe all but the tips of your scaps off the ground. Again, really tall in the chest, drive the ribcage down. If it starts to bug the neck, you can have one hand support. After suitcase drive, we'll finish the series with those mini skaters. Single leg on your position, little pop, little reach, pop, reach. 15 seconds. Then. Five. Good mini skaters to wrap up left to right, a little pop, right? Remember, if we want more, we just go vertical, lands off, go vertical, lands off. After this, a 50 second recovery. I remember standing in line and being slow with like pretty oh, sweet yeah. right? right? Oh, Our oldest one had childhood insomnia. Oh, no. Insomnia of childhood, as they would say, right? Uh, okay. Like standing in line, like playing back and forth, and like didn't realize like I don't have to kick my hands, right? Like I can stand a lot of still. <laughs> 15 seconds out. We don't have anything. Oh, we have one thing that might require weight next round. 10, we'll talk about it. Five. Uh, little air. 50 seconds off. Good time for a bit of water. Number one is going to be a slow on the way up push up. So we'll drop down under a normal cadence and then on the way up, it's a bit of a grind, a bit of a grind, a bit of a grind. So slow on the way up, a normal speed coming down. Number two, simple side plank hip drop from a side plank position. Hips up, hips down, squeeze the oblique. Drive the shoulder down. Number three, in-out squat jump. Feet together, feet wide. Feet together, squeeze the feet wide. The last thing, which you might set a weight for right now, Russian twist. If you want to stay body weight, fantastic. If you want to load up a weight, maybe five to seven pounds, grab a weight. Number one, though, slow on the way up. Push up in five seconds. Normal speed coming down, so we drop pretty fast, and then maybe five to eight seconds on the actual press to get back up. We focus on the core tension on the way up. Glutes are tight, rib cage is drawn down, shoulders are down, lats are snug. And if you feel strong here, spend less time in that upright position, right? So drop down fast, press slow, and then when you finish the rep, drop right back down again. In 20 seconds, side plank hip drops. You need to breathe, go to that height position, right? Set the hips back. 10. 
Three. Good. Everybody stack a forearm down. Drop the hips. Press the hips. So side plank with a hip drop. In that upright position or that plank position, think about driving the shoulder down, drive the hips up, and really focus on a big squeeze in the oblique. One thing to kind of push the hips, another thing to act actually actively drive the hips up, drive the shoulder down, and get a lot of extra tension in the oblique. After side plank hip drops, we go into in out squat jumps, feet together, and then feet out for a squat. I'll demo 10 seconds to go here. You need that front hand, put it down softly. Five. Good, tap together, feet nice and wide. That middle tap's more of a springboard, right? I don't spend a lot of time there to quick off the toes, quick off the toes. So when the toes tap in the middle, bounce off the toes right back out of that squat. And then depth's going to be individual, right? To you. Maybe it's a lot of depth, maybe it's not a lot of depth. Move fairly quickly after in out squat jump, Russian twist. Uh, everybody has different hips, so whatever feels comfortable to you. Everybody in a squat position has different angles that is kind of uh, helpful for their hips individually. You can go like sumo if you want. It's a little probably going to allow you to keep the whole, a little more hamstrings, a little more glutes. Um, I've got one hit, turns out. One, uh, it's good. Press and twist, guys, on our bum. If it's good in our back and our hip flexors, feet off the ground. If we don't want to overload hips or back, heels can come down. Think about the torso, right? The rib cage. How far can I actually rotate my rib cage, not just my hands? Take my stern side to side. The longer my arms are here, probably the more torque I'm going to feel, right? Nice long levers. 20 seconds out, and then move your bell off to the side. We'll roll over into slow on the way up. Push up. If it's not quite like appropriate, just heel down. Ten. Two. Good, into a push-up position, normal cadence down, so a quick drop, and then a grind to the press. If we can, we'll take sternum toward the floor, right, chin stays drawn back, everything tight and loose, and score. Drop pretty fast, drive pretty slow. And every time you get to the top, you might touch that rib cage back down, take a little bit of a crunch, make sure the core is engaged at the top. Well over halfway here, but still 15 seconds to go. Side plank hip drop coming up next. 10. Five. Good, find a forearm, drop the hips, drive the hips, drop the hips, drive the hips. And remember, in that top position, we're going to drive the shoulder down toward the rib cage. Think about the same effort we had that suitcase stretch, how we had that big squeeze in the oblique. Same idea as the hip comes up. You can drive the shoulder down, load the oblique, load the lat, and get a nice pitch. After side plank hip drops, back to in out squat jumps. 20 seconds to go. Yeah, it's like. It's like a couple reps left here. Focus on control like, through the drop, building tension, and drive the hips. Eight. Three. Good. In out squat jump, narrow tap, little sit, narrow tap, little sit. A little spring more from the middle, set the hips in the hole. Find the weight in the heels. You might land on the toes initially, but then weight in the heels. Have a nice sit, drop the hole, light on the toes. After in out squat jumps, last thing of this four part series, Russian twist on our bums, speed up what we can, focus on the sternum and rotating that. 20 seconds out, good. Your discs are near the wall. You'll need it for the next series of four. Christian, you got discs there. I'm leaving you a bit early. 10 seconds here. 
Three. Good Russian twist, guys, on our bum. And then that red handle face up will help you there. Yep, perfect. It'll get faster over time. The first, the first day with this, uh, it's a little cumbersome. Yeah, we had garage work out, work out for a number of months. So we have push carts on so you see the Costco or Home Depot. Wow. So we'd load up six sets of dumbbells on multiple parts and push them out the garage. Wow. Color wise, it's nicer, right? You don't have to share anything. And you have access to basically that entire rack of weights. Prior to so prior to those, it was a lot of very quick clean. Kendra wants 15, Jen wants a 15, you wanted a 12, and the next exercise, you wanted a 15, Jen. Oh, so that's good. Rest, guys. First thing next here is wide mountain climber. So you have discs near you. Here's over there from a push-up position. It's going to be oblique focused again. As I draw the knee wide, I'm going to drive the shoulder down, draw the hip up. So not just a knee tuck, but a lot of oblique activation. So turn the hips in and up, drive the shoulder down. Number two, single arm, unsupported, bent over row. Left hand rows, left foot back, single arm row. If you know you need a little bit of assistance, right? you can hand on the leg or forearm on the leg. But unsupported is what we're looking for. Set a weight for that. Number three, we'll go plank position, off the reach, left, right, right, left. Number four, we'll talk about it. First thing though, feet on discs, handles if you need them, wide mountain climbers. Two, push up position, draw that knee, suck the shoulder down, right? Nice and slow, not for speed, more about the oblique. Right, so the shoulder down and the hip up. So there should be some rib cage movement from everybody, right? As the right knee comes up, rib cage comes down. Again, thinking back to that initial suitcase crunch, drawing everything together. After wide mountain climbers, we want to set a dumbbell for a single arm, unsupported, bent over row. One set at 12, close to one set at 15 further. And three. Good. My left arm has the weight, left leg's back. From there, I'm focused on a hip hinge right side. Single arm, unsupported, bent over row. Again, if we know our back's not going to appreciate that, we can self support hand on the front leg. The row is not going to feel like a lot of work, but you should be in a position to where you have so much weight on the front legs, glute, and hamstring, so I'm going to pull the hips a little narrower than what it is. Keep the hip high and then pull from there. So it should be left glute, left hamstring, three retrans, then yourself, and yes, as well. But you should be right with right hamstring, right? As far as a breaking form from the right side. 10 seconds now. After rows, plank with opposite reach, so down on our forearm. From here, if possible, left, right, little pause, draw in, stay with the body, right, left, little pause. If it gets crazy, you can always pause in that act, or excuse me, in a static plank. A plank with opposites is our goal. Oh. <laughs> Think about low the body prematurely, right? To where then when we draw the opposite sides off the ground, there's no hip rotation. So settle the body, get the glutes active before you lift that leg, start to transfer the weight, take the reach. 15 seconds to go. After playing with the opposite reach, we're going to be on our feet for squat pulses. Eight. No weight there. Five. Good, four squat pulls, right? Sit back, maybe open the knees up a little bit, but stay down four to six inches at the bottom end. Weight's going to be predominantly in the fifth metatarsal outside of the foot as well as heel. Up and down, up and down, up and down. There's no set number, right? Just as many as you can in a set. The deeper we all get, the more glutes and hamstrings you should start to feel at the top end of the range of motion. It's going to be lots of quads. You let yourself sink down toward the bottom. You'll find a little more glutes, a little more hamstrings. 15 seconds. First thing, why I'm not climbing is if you watch my shoulder, 
as I pull my knee up, I'm going to turn my shoulder down, right? So I should be able to, instead of being here, draw the shoulder down to get more of an oblique pitch. Five. We're going to feet on discs. Hands on handles if you need them. Pull the knee. Draw the shoulder. Check that shoulder, right? Draw the shoulder down, pull the rib cage down. Doesn't have to be fast here. Everyone's gonna trap. 15 seconds out. Single arm, unsupported, dumbbell, bent over row coming up. Switch arms, switch legs. Eight. Three. Good, if I'm rowing right arm, my right leg back, I'm going to make sure I hit really heavy on that front leg. So my supporting leg is almost like a single leg RDL, hips nice and high, fairly narrow in the base. But then my glute hamstring on that front leg should take the brunt of the work. Row's not bad. Glute hamstring should be kind of slow, just trying to stabilize the body. 25 seconds out. If our breathing is under control, we're inhaling on the reach, exhale as we pull. Drive the shoulder down, squeeze the lap, squeeze the biceps, a lot of tension there in the armpit. 15 seconds out. Next thing, drop into plank. Plank with opposite reach. Five. Two. Go down to full arm and toe. Check the hips before you start, right? Lock the glutes in, take your time. Nice big reach, little pause. Don't feel rushed here. And that leg lift shouldn't be through the low back, right? It's just a simple glute squeeze. So don't allow kind of that low back to extend. Everything stays tight. As you get stuck, a foot lift is okay. Just lift the foot, right? Keep the arms down. Similarly, it's just through the glute, right? Keep the core tight, maybe like four inches off the ground at most through the toe. Shouldn't be a lot of height. 15 seconds out, then on our feet for squat pulses. 10. Five. Good, I myself require my feet a little wider maybe, and then I'm gonna sit down about as much as I can, four to six. I'm watching that my kneecaps aren't doing this, right? It's not like a rocky motion. It should be up and down in the hips. But having deep sits, pulse, pulse, pulse. So check the knees, right? They should move around too much back in the hips as we sit. After this, 50 seconds to breathe. And next series, let's one exercise, the one that's weighted. It's not number one, but single leg front side raise. We're probably all five. Seven, maybe, but it gets heavy. It's probably five. Right? Two dumbbells at five. Ten seconds up. Five. Two, three. Number one, we're going to start with core extensions. Get my low back down nice and tight, right? I should roll my hips into a posterior tilt from here. Head can be down. If I'm capable, I'm going to rock and roll all four limbs, but I'm making sure my back doesn't come up. If I can't, pull the left, right, right, left, right, keep that back sucked down throughout. Number two, single leg front side raise. If I stand left knee or left foot, excuse me, left knee stays bent slightly. I'm trying to show you from here, one side raise, one front raise. Number three, split squat jumps. Oh, yeah, my favorite, right? They're good. Pop split, pop split, pop split. Number four, we'll get there, we'll discuss it. It's not burpees. Good, no, bur no burpees today. Core extensions, number one, low back down, tight right, roll the hips through, head can be down here, four limbs up, arms and legs up to the ceiling. Everything's gonna reach the same time, if you can. You can't be down, Christian, if you want to head down. That's the whole thing. 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 That
10 seconds out. Exercise number two, front and side raise. Lighter weights, three, two. Good, stabilizing on one leg. That leg's gonna be bent. Only parallel to floor in height. And I'm trying not to throw them. If I feel control here, it's a slower range of motion. Right, if I swing the bells quickly, there's not a lot of work, right? The nice slow up, same cadence down. If you guys feel super stable, you can always stand on your ab mat with that foot, right? It'll give you a little more instability. 20 seconds here. Same thing, nice slow lift, nice slow drop, even a pause at the top if you want. And next thing, split squat jumps. I would treat it like I'm running, right, left, left, right. Trying to land both feet same time. Focus on the depth of the knee. Hot switch, hot switch. If and when it gets crazy, it's more of a front foot dynamic, right? Just my front foot hops. Just my front foot hops. The more we lean the torso over the front leg, right, the more glute and hamstring and tubular get. As I come down, I might keep a little bit of forward lean in the body. If we stay tall, it's going to be lots of quads. We haven't talked about the last exercise. Somewhat intentionally, as we fatigue, a little front foot hop only. Front foot hop only. Eight seconds, quad plank next. Oh boy. Knees, hips, shoulders, 90 degrees. Two. Knees are off the ground. We try to breathe and hold still. I would challenge you that if you need to rest, go into a pipe first knees down. Shoulders are warm, quads are warm, right? Think about what you can control. Glutes is pretty easy. Breathing kind of almost back under control. In 20 seconds, not so bad. Core extensions. We're going to roll over on our back. More of a recovery station after split squat jumps and quad plank. Hold for 10. Breathe. Keep your knees tight. Five. Beautiful. On your back. Low back down. Head down. Four limbs up. If you can, rock and roll with all four. If you find opposites to be more appropriate for you, good. If you can start all four, the need to reduce the opposite, that's great too. Low back just stays pinned down tight. Trying to get the breathing back under control. Second exercise, not bad as well, right? It's that single leg front and side raise. So first two exercises in the series, not gimmies, but they're not bad. And it's plus squat jumps, quad plank, lots of work there. 10 seconds out. Good. Switching legs, and again, if we want to add more stability and demand, we can stand on the ab mat. Well, one to front, one to side. Not a lot of speed, and it feels like we can add a small pause at the top. Easy up, easy down. So with that knee tuck, the core should stay tight, right? So we have an opportunity with the knee up, then tighten the core down even a little more. So not to be a super heavy crunch, we can gain some core tension. In 15 seconds, bells down, split squat jumps. Pop switch, pop switch, try to commit to that two foot same time pattern. As we need to in fatigue, we can switch three, two. Yeah, pop switch, pop switch, pop switch, right into it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That knee depth is a big indicator of effort, right? As we get smoke, maybe less knee depth. We're still dynamic, still popping. When we need to, it's just a front foot. But survive as long as you can. 
15 seconds out here. Next thing we'll quad play 10. Five. Hands and toes, knees off the ground, 90 meters up the body. Get stable, suck the shoulders down, all right? Load the core a little bit. If we need to, we'll fight and breathe. Drop back that hole. This is where I mental toughness out of the picture. This is what I'm talking about. It's supposed to watch that squad, but it's tough. I've been here before, right? It's all right. It's good. It's good. You've got to breathe. Focus on what feels good, right? Try something through, okay? Glutes are fine. Breathe is in control. 15 seconds out. You've made it. Hold on to it. After this, a nice long 50 second rest. 10. Up and hold. Five. <laughs> Number one, guys, push up with a pulse. I'm gonna drop down, have a pulse, have a press. Have a pulse, have a press. Number two, forward lunge. Weighted, and then reverse lunge curl. So no curl there, curl here. Forward lunge weighted, reverse lunge with a curl. Number three, some sort of tricep extension. Bend to your ex, stretch to your ex, pinch to your ex, clear to your ex. Uh, dips at home and or wall tricep if you like. Number four, side plank with a switch. Forearm down, I'm gonna rock and roll under. That's my forearm, turn my hips, tie my ankles together. First thing though, in five seconds, push up with a pulse. Drop, pull press. <laughs> Here we go. All the normal cues. Four to six inches on our pulses. Shoulders down tight. Chin stays drawn back. Inhaling down. Exhale through the press. Keep back from the rib cage. Try to keep it closed. Low back, it does this kind of valley. 20 seconds to go. Second exercise, weighted. A forward lunge and then a reverse lunge with a curl. And you know what you want? Yeah, it's good, it's good. Five. So the weights just go with me on my forward lunge, but then on my reverse lunge, a little bit of forward lean and a bicep curl. Forward lunge right, reverse lunge right plus curl. Forward lunge right, reverse lunge right plus curl. So forward lunge with the weights. Reverse lunge with the weights and curl on the way down. So that curl is synced up and with the reverse lunge to where the dumbbells almost don't change height. I leave myself in the curl. Forward lunge can be tall posture, right? Being more quad up. Reverse lunge definitely lean forward a little bit. But forward lunge can be nice and tall. Drive off that front leg. Reverse lunge, a little bit of torso lean. Eight seconds. Number three, tricep extension. Stretch behind you into T-Rex. We'll go T-Rex triceps in the gym. At home, wall triceps, mirroring the suspension and or some dip. Go ahead here. I like one foot forward in the tricep extension, one foot back to where I can then use that front foot as a little bit of a break. Should almost allow me to get deeper into the tricep extension than I could otherwise. Hands in our skull pressure should be unattached, so there's a little bit of separation between the hands just so the arms are working independently. 15 seconds out after this, side plank with a switch. Forearm down, take a little bit of eye human gene, match the forearm, tie the ankles, take your rotation. Three. Good. Side plank, reach under, match the forearm, turn the hips. Three seconds high. We've done a lot of oblique stuff today. Think about pausing on that vertical reach. Load the oblique, drive the hips. Match the forearms, tie the ankles together, roll all the way under just your right foot there. There you go. Take a pause a little bit really good. And you want to grab you can grab a bigger base in the bottom, that's the form of this direction, just back the arms this way, forward block, oops. 
side by side like that. And then you'll have a bigger base when you roll the side. It'll be a little more stable there than you would have been with the forearm vertical. Then fire that oblique on the bottom, right? Push the hips up. Squeeze the oblique. 10 seconds. After this, staying down into a push up with a pulse. Five. Knees, if and when. Two. One push, one pull. One push, one pull. And check that pulse, right? Less of a quiver or a twitch. Think four to six inches range of motion. Take a break between the presses so you can get a nice big pulse there. 15 seconds up. Yeah, maybe playing the cigarette. I didn't Yeah, it's like a little Yeah. After push up, lunges, five, grab your belts, two, make sure you switch legs, forward lunge, staying tall, reverse lunge, torso lean and curl. Nice tall here, and then work on some tempo. If the weight's not bad, pick up the speed. Reverse lunge curl, drop right in. Forward lunge, nothing. Reverse lunge, lift curl. Fortunately, it's light enough that I don't think it's gonna. I don't think you'll feel it tomorrow. Feels like a single leg RDL back to back, maybe. Four more bearing flips, drop back to back, maybe. Fifteen seconds out. After this one, back to try some extensions. Wall, dip, or T-Rex. Eight. Three. Good, the triceps. Regardless of where we are, as we lean in, either wall, dip, or T-Rex, we should inhale. Inhale, the elbows bend, right? Exhale, we drive away from the uh, device we're using. After skull crushers, we go side plank with a switch. That'll be the last thing of our fifth series. So we have one round left here. Elbows stay fairly tight. Let them roll in together. Then check your elbow position. If you look to the side, the elbow should be very aggressively bent. Use the front foot for as much help as the knee. Bend the elbow for more dropping. Three. Side plank switch, forearm down, rotate through, check that bottom oblique, drive the hips up, drive the shoulder down, take a pause. Not about volume here, more about getting the oblique tight, rolling the body. Then once you are you sometimes think about your body being a vessel of water and limit the sloshiness of it, so everything rotates very smoothly all at once. Not a lot of whipping motion, should be nice, smooth through the hips and the torso. 20 seconds to go here. We need some heavy weights for our next series. One dumbbell will be loaded for a deadlift, one dumbbell loaded for a goblet squat. No push ups, there, check that out. Five. <laughs> Resting. First thing lateral crawl. Left, right, right, left. Try to keep the hips nice and still. Knees pretty tight to the floor. Number two is a deadlift, so with a heavy dumbbell or kettlebell, whatever you have, we'll deadlift. Number three, goblet squat. It's kind of a weird double, right? Dead squats, one squat, one back. That's good. Last leg, loop, bridge. You can go single leg if you feel up for it. One leg up, keep that foot stationary, drive to the hips, little pause, squeeze the glute, drop back down. So number one, lateral crawl. Number two, deadlift. Number three, goblet squat. Number four, single leg and appropriate. Blue bridge. Five seconds. <laughs> Lateral crawl, number one, guys. Move to side, move to side. Just like our quad plank, knees, shoulders, hips, everything 90. Think about having your favorite beverage on your back, kid friendly or not, right? Don't let the hips turn. If you watch the knee on the leg, it should be stationary. 
that knee hikes around, you know your hips are moving as well. So check that knee position. In 20 seconds, into a deadlift. Should be a heavier load. 10 seconds out. Five. Good, nice big hip hinge, right? Weight hangs up front, keep the hips up the back. Low back stays flat. The entire spine stays neutral, more so, right? Hands all squeeze, glutes close the course the top. Don't feel like you have to reach for the ground for depth. Let the stretch come to you. That dumbbell is just leading you into that stretch. You can double on a great one. Yes. Uh, yes. Down to a position. Stay tall, a little glute squeeze, load the core to the top, and exhale through the rib cage. So everybody squeeze their glutes straight, but don't open up your back in order to squeeze the glutes. Ten seconds out, and then if that weight's appropriate, we'll take the weight right up under chin into a squat. Five, the deadlift should be glute hamstring focused. Two, we'll move into a goblet squat, a little more quad dominant. Then find the depth that works for you, right? Again, heels and fifth metatarsal should carry most of the load. Big toes can stay down. Inhaling on the sit, right? Exhale, stand tall, squeeze the quads, right? Get a little bit of tension at the top. Squeeze everything nice, big inhale, sit in the hole, stand tall, exhale. Next thing, glute bridge. Again, if we can, single leg, leg goes high. Don't whip this leg around in order to create height. This should be static. Heel if I want to. Full foot if I want, buddy. Squeeze and a pause. Working that hip bone up and then pause there. Drop down, maybe a soft contact. Press for height, pause. You can be dynamic on the way up as long as you can then control that height. And pause, two. Good okay, weight there, watch your fingers. Single leg glute bridge. Foot in the air, stay static, drive for height and take a pause. In that pause position, shoulder, hip bone, and knee are all in a nice line, right? Squeeze the glute. Take your pause and focus on tension. One thing to shoot the hips and drop down, another thing to shoot the hips and then pause. Control the height, squeeze, stay tight. 15 seconds out. After this, the lateral crawl. 10. Five, we'll roll over knees, hips, shoulders, everything 92. Good, over quickly, shoulders, knees, hips, everything 90 degrees, nice and tight. Yeah. Lateral crawl, watch the hip bones as we head sideways, right? 90, 90, 90. Yeah. And also, watch that stationary knee, don't be in a rush here. Yes, yes, if you feel good, you can get a pause, right? My left and right off the ground at the same time, and I hover. Stabilize the body. Don't feel rushed to move side to side. 20 seconds out, and then we go deadlift. So a little bit of quad torture here, and then glutes and hands, and then quads, and then glutes and hands. 15 seconds out. In our last series, a couple exercises left. 10. Five. Good deadlifting. Tip the hips, up the back, unlock the knees, right, stand tall, exhale, squeeze. Let that dumbbell draw you down into a nice stretch position. Inhale the way down, stand tall, exhale. At the bottom of your lift, you should feel all the way back in the heels. So make sure you're sitting back into that lift. Inhale down. Take your chin with you, right? So the spine stays neutral. Don't look around too much at the bottom. 15 seconds out. If the weight is appropriate, we'll get it under chin for a squat. 10. One more rep. Five. Good. Secure that weight under chin. Nice big inhale on the down. Strong exhale. Get some quad tension as you stand. Flex the quads a little bit. Almost done. I got some squats and some glute bridges. Feel free to take as much time through the squat as you want, right? If it's heavy, slow it down a little bit. If it's light, get some tempo. 
25 seconds out. Start to remember which leg we had to use for our single leg glute bridge. We gotta go other side. 15 seconds out. Ten. Three. Good. We're back single leg again. One up, one down. Okay, Christian later. I think it is the other one. It's okay. Yeah, I'll get it. Don't worry about it. Shoot the hips. Take a pause. Shoot the hips. Take a pause. Are you good, Rich? Ah, uh, thank you. That would take me a few minutes. But it is one way to make an odd weight, right? <laughs> the one thing these dumbbells don't have is the rack has 27 and a half. What do you think by loading 30?